Hey guys, it's Ro Santana from WorkSave Invest Entrepreneurs. And today I'm making a quick video lesson showing you guys my thought process when it comes down to trading in the stock market and to show you guys how was I, I was able to make over $200 in less than 10 minutes trading stocks. I'm going to be showing you guys the three trades that I took, one with BDR, the other one with RXOLI, and the second one with the LPN. Um, each um, trade was very specific. I was I, for each one. I was I had a plan, and with one of them, I made a mistake. So hopefully, with this lesson, you guys will be able to see and learn something new. And let's get it. Here, I'm going to show you first the so you guys can see that I'm not a fraud, that I'm really um, authentic, that I really trade. Um, this is the monitor. This shows you the trades. It, the trades that you take, how many shares you buy, um, the time, the entry price, the exit price. And this, you can only have this if you have a brokerage and if you actually made real trades. Another thing that I want you guys to see that I'm the real deal um, here, you're seeing connected real-time real -time data. Is it, If it's orange, that means it's not being traded with real money. If it's green, that means it's a real account. Real money, real trades at real time. So I just want to be totally transparent with you guys. The first uh, trade that I'm going to break down for you guys is BDR. Uh, as you can, as can see, I got in at a dollar and sixteen cents, and I got out at a dollar and eighteen cents. Um, it was only a dollar and eighty four cents profit. It was not much, um, but I'm going to explain to you guys why now, why went wrong. Okay, the BDR. Um, are we going to be here in this section because this is the day that I traded all these other days um, there was no action I didn't trade there so I want you guys to focus here um, as you can see here the time and the date see it was the fourth see the fourth the fourth see it changed so let's get it so this was a very interesting stock BDR um, it popped um, right in the scanners um, the, the ones that I use to find my trades <coughs> and um, I was not too happy at first with the stock because at pre-market it was only at 85 cents and I have a rule that I don't trade a stock less than a dollar why because I've seen that every time I take a trade with a stock that costs less than a dollar I always lose like it probably had one winner and it was by luck um, so it's something I really don't do. I don't take trades uh, with a stock that is worth less than a dollar. It just doesn't work for me. So what my plan was, um, I saw the volume. Remember uh, the previous video that I was telling you guys how important is volume? I saw a lot of volume, but I didn't like the price. So my thought process was the following. Okay, I'm going to see the stock. If this stock breaks above... A dollar and sixteen, a dollar and ten cents. I'm gonna get in, and I'm gonna get out and cover profits right away. That was my thought process uh, for this trade. So as you can see here, uh, I waited a little bit and waited for a consolidation and a strong sign of an uptrend pattern. And as soon as I saw that it break above a dollar and ten, I got in right away. Um, I got in at dollar and sixteen cents because the stock was moving really fast, and it went all the way to a dollar and fifty-two. Now, this is something that I need you guys to take um, to uh, as a lesson from me. Um, don't get greedy. When take profits, cover them. Profit is profit. Sometimes a small win is better than having any. Um, here, I was a, I was up from a dollar and sixteen cents to a dollar and fifty-two, but I got so greedy because they wanted more money um, that the stock just went against me and it dropped. And it dropped so fast, they literally, um, I was up like $40, $40 because I bought 120 shares. I was up like $40 for my position. Not much, but profit is profit. But because they wanted much more money, um, the trade went against me and it dropped um, right back down. But I was able to get out before I lost money. And I was only able to get out from to a dollar and 18 cents, which was literally almost right with my position entry, see a dollar sixteen, I got out a dollar 
18. So I was only able to make a dollar and 84 cents. Ted, um, great entry, great plan, but I just got too greedy for not covering profits, and that was my mistake. Uh, the second trade that I took um, was RXII. Let me, I have it here. Mm, boom. Okay. RXII was an interesting trade as well. We here. Let me move it so you guys can have it here. Yep. So uh, it popped right in my scanners. This was the second trade of the day. And I, I, I was very, um, I had a really strong plan. The next stock that I see that I play that I take a position in, I'm gonna cover profits. Whether it's 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, I'm going to cover profits. I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I made with um, BDR, and that's exactly what I did. Um, it popped right in the in the scanner, and I I saw um, potential. I saw that the stock was about it was around four dollars because I I was not able to see the stock like right away when it came out. So I was not able to ride the entire momentum. So I, I was only able to grasp, to catch half of it. But it is what it is. So when I saw it broke above $3.50, I told myself, you know what? If the stock breaks above $3.80, $4, I'm going to get in. I'm going to buy 200 shares, as you can see here. And I'm going to play it out, the stock. So the stock moved really fast. The volume was really strong. In the level two, I there was a lot of buyers, and the stock just went um, um, on price right away. So I was able to get in at four dollars and fifty cents around here, and as soon and as soon as I got it here to a four dollars and ninety cents for uh, forty cents per share of profit, I got out right away. I covered profits. I rode the momentum, stayed to my plan, and I didn't get greedy like the last time. And thanks to this. And my 200 share position, I was able to make $79 with 98 cents. So putting everything together uh, with the last with BDR and RXII, I was able to make $81. And that was for me it for that day. I made $81. I was happy, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to close it for today, and I'm not, and I'm going to trade back tomorrow. And that's what I did. So the next trade here, let me, so you can see, see, would be uh, RXII. It shows you that I bought, uh, buy 200 shares at $4.54, and I sold at $4.94. Amazing move, broke the momentum perfectly. The following day, I got in at DLPN. DLPN, I have it here for ECA. DLPN. Um, this was a very interesting trade. I'm really proud of it. I did everything like I was supposed to. Um, this stock, um, I saw it early in the morning that day. The, um, and it showed so much potential. It had a good catalyst, which means a good news. Um, it had a strong moment, uh, volume. In the level two, there was a lot of people buying. So my decision was the following. Um, I was going to get it at, uh, when I saw the stock first, it was at $4.17. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it some time. Um, if it break above four forty, four dollars and forty cents, I'm gonna get in two hundred and fifty shares. I'm gonna cover profits after thirty, forty shares, uh, cents, and then I'm out. And that's what exactly I did. I rolled the momentum. I got a four dollars and fifty cents. Um, with uh two hundred and fifty shares. Let me see, four fifty times two fifty it was eleven hundred dollars of uh in the position. So I got in at four dollars fifty cents, and as soon as I hit uh, five dollars and fifteen cents, I covered profits. I didn't play with that. I took my profits and ran away with it. And by the time of that trade, I was up a hundred and forty dollars. So combining the two profits of the the two days, I was able to make over two hundred dollars. Um, the day before in this one, I was the previous one. I made eighty one dollars, and the other one I was able to make a hundred. And forty dollars. So it was really amazing. One hundred and forty plus eighty-one. That's two hundred and twenty-one dollars in less than ten minutes. And as you can see, you, um, you see the time frame that I took the trades. Nine thirty-five. I I was up at nine forty-one, nine fifty-three, nine fifty-four. And in this one uh, that I made the hundred and forty dollars, I literally traded. I got in at nine thirty-three, and as soon as it. And by 9.34, I was out. Less than two minutes, $140 plus 
profit is profit and I got it away. I hope you guys found this video very useful. I was really excited about making it. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding on how I take my trades, the reason behind it, how I get in, how I get out, the, the time frames that, that I select. As you can see, I don't stay more than a minute or two uh, in a position because these stocks are very volatile. And I hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions at the end of this video, just like always, comment down below and see you guys soon. Work saving best entrepreneurs. Join the movement.